Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to describe the detailed processes of digestive system and digestion. Now, first, what is digestion and its main objective? At the end of this lesson, you should be able to explain what is mean by digestion why food must be digested, define enzymes as a biological catalyst, that speed up rate of reactions means rate of digestion without being chemically changed, explain the effects of temperature on enzyme activity, mode of enzymes action. Okay, now why we eat we need to eat because our body needs nutrients or energy to survive okay now types of nutrients our body needs are main types carbohydrates proteins and fats some other are vitamins minerals and water but these three are main now, here I am giving some examples. You will write any one of them in their respective column, like potato, sunlight oil, egg, meat, peas, bread, rice, and cheese. You put them in their respective columns. Okay, and after completing show it to your teacher and discuss it okay now this carbohydrates means bread rice and potato protein means peas egg meat and fat is oil and margarine okay why digestion need digestion is necessary because it break down large insoluble molecules into smaller molecules so that the body can absorb the nutrition required for its functioning from the smaller molecules in other words digestion is the process where by large insoluble food molecules are broken down into smaller soluble food molecules okay now large complex insoluble molecules are this on your left side and a small simple soluble molecules on your right side first starch is a carbohydrate and after digestion it is converted into glucose protein is a protease protein is digested through the protease and it will give to the amino acid fat is going through the lipase and forming small soluble molecules glycerol and fatty acids okay this is the process of digestion. Now, glucose, amino acids, and fatty acids. These small, simple, soluble molecules are used for the following purposes. First, growth of new cells and tissues. Second, provide energy for growth, movement, and keeping warm. Third, repair the damaged tissues. And last, keep us healthy clear now enzymes are biological catalyst and catalyst are substances that speed up the rate of reactions but themselves 
remains chemically unchanged at the end of the reaction. This is called enzymes. Now, learning objective, you should know how to identify the main organs in the human digestive system and next describe the process of digestion within the human body in detail. Digestive system belongs to associated accessory organs and elementary canal. The process begins with the mechanical digestion which involves biting, tearing, slicing and chewing. Second is the mechanical digestion, acid and enzymes involved. Now, mouth. Mechanical digestion Food is broken down into smaller pieces by chewing, tearing, slicing and biting action of the teeth. Second, enzymatic digestion involves starch is broken down into maltose by the amylase in the saliva. No digestion of proteins and fats in the mouth. Only starch converted into maltose. Okay, next, in the esophagus, partially digested food is pushed down from the mouth into the stomach by muscles in the esophagus that alternatively contract and relax, which is called peristalsis movement. No enzymes are present in the esophagus. Now, in the next, complex proteins are breaking down into simple protein by the protease found in the gastric juice secreted by the stomach. No digestion of fats or carbohydrates occur in the stomach. Only protein is digested. Next, in the small intestine, simple proteins converted into amino acid maltose converted into glucose and fat converted into glycerol and fatty acids. Three digestive juices are secreted in the, in the small intestine to complete the digestion. Number one, bile from the liver, pancreatic juice from the pancreas and inter, intestinal juice from the small intestine. Bile Break down the fat into smaller droplets of easier digestion. Pancreatic juice contains carbohydrates and protease and lipids for the digestion. And intestinal juice also contains carbohydrates, carbohydrates, protease and lipids for the digestion. Next. In the large intestine, undigested food that reaches the large intestine will be passed to the rectum and anus for the removal by the body as faces, solid waste. As it passes through, a lot of water is absorbed by the large intestine and taken back into the body. Clear? Now, it's inquiry time. Think it and Search it through the internet and after searching write the answer in your notebook and share to your teacher. Some obese people, obese means fatty fat people, have had part of their small intestines removed. Suggest with reason the effects of such surgery, why this part of small intestine removed and what is the benefit for this removal. Next, proteins are digested in the stomach. The stomach will consist of cells which are made of proteins. 
so why does the stomach will not get digested okay think it and answer your question now in this topic you should know how to identify the main organs in the human digestive system and explain the process of digestion within the human body as per your teacher requirement this is the review of your topics okay thank you now how does the food is absorbed into the blood stream absorption the small intestine villi cells and blood capillaries food from the small intestine move towards the villi cells and from this it will absorb in the blood capillaries absorption is the movement of digested food molecules through the walls of the small intestine by what process do the food molecules move through the intestine walls why does food molecules move into the blood stream but not move out think it and answer the question why are there so many finger like projections in the cell of a small intestine it is a movement absorption is the movement of digested food molecules through the walls of the small intestine digested food molecules move through the walls of the small intestine through the diffusion and active transport diffusion and active transport you will study it in your next class undigested food molecules are too large to move through the walls of the small intestine finger like projections in the wall of the small intestine provide large surface area for absorption of digested food molecules okay these all are the answers of previous questions this and this okay now how is the rate of absorption made faster in the small intestine number 1 finger like position in the wall of the small intestine provide large surface area for the absorption of digested food molecules number 2 the small intestine is long and convoluted thus increasing the surface area for quicker absorption the wall of the small intestine is only one cell thick shortening the distance between the wall and blood vessels so absorption can be faster and a constant flow of blood ensures a low concentration of food molecules in the capillary so rate of diffusion of digested food molecules into the blood is increased thank you thank you